I've got really bad news, guys. Payroll isn't getting any easier anytime soon. More and more states are rolling out their own mandates, and these are affecting employers across the country. One of those mandates that we're seeing is paid family and medical leave, or sometimes just paid family leave or paid medical leave. The states that have enacted these laws each make up their own programs. So what does that mean? That means that each state determines if the employee or employer or both are required to contribute to the plan. Usually it's a mix and it depends on how many employees the employer has. So for example, it may be if you have fewer than 10 employees, only the employees have to contribute. And if you have more than 10 employees, then the employer also has to contribute. Each state's benefits are different and each state's reporting requirements are different. These paid family and medical leave deductions do need to be set up in your payroll system and applied to the employees who are eligible for the benefits. Um, and you also wanna make sure that you've registered for the account. A lot of the time, the paid family medical leave accounts require a registration similar to a state tax registration like withholding or unemployment. So you wanna make sure if you are required or mandated to provide this benefit. If so, make sure you're collecting the proper amounts from employees and make sure that you have the account set up so that when time comes to file and pay, then you're ready to do so. Uh, in my experience, these are all filed quarterly, so they're on the same schedule as state unemployment taxes as far as the employer filing and payment is concerned. You can check out the blog for a list of states that currently have these mandates, and you can also check out our state resources page for more details on the plans. As always, if you have payroll questions, I would love to answer them.